So I'm practicing for the next race. Okay, XD. Bro, do not tell me they use XD in the future. Come on, dude. I thought we had moved past that word in the present. Winky face. It's me. You just get us in the finish line. One piece. Winky face. Part of my style. Smiley face. <laughs> Oh no, that's why I love you, V. But seriously, practice. XD. Stop! What is this conversation? <laughs> people don't talk this way anymore. <laughs> this is, people haven't talked this way since 2013, bro. I'm sick. I'm tired. <laughs> God dang, that was bad. Oh. <laughs> that was like almost offensive. <laughs> I got a new perk point. Cool. Alright, what do I use? What do I do with it? Quick hack? Let me see what I can get in here. Quick hack. Unaware targets. Oh. Ooh. ooh we need that. We need that. Because I do that all the time in stealth. Alright. Yep. 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 We're going to one hit people in stealth now. Let's go. Okay. 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 Um. It is time for me to drive. Uh oh. I see those people using those emojis in Guild Wars 2 map chat. See, for me, all world chats in an MMO, like all general chats, are perpetually stuck in like 2010. And I'm okay with that. If anything, that's my comfort zone. You know, I get on like Swator. Uh, or like DC Universe Online, or even ESO, and I see I see some people using colon P in chat. I just feel really comfy, man. I just feel like a kid again. You know, like, man, okay, these people are all very secure with using these. But, like, if I'm texting, I haven't texted people that in a long-ass time. I'm just in awe. Uh-oh. I'm not supposed to meet Pan Inya. That's right, I was gonna go meet... Well, I don't... It's not that I can't. I just... Wasn't she texting me? How do I go meet her? Hang on. Can I get off my bike and call her in the middle of the road? I'm very important. Everyone wait. I got some calls I missed. Oh, I didn't mean to call her. I just wanted to view my text. V. See you around. She didn't like that. I wonder if we actually get to meet Regina in person at some point. Uh, Claire, 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 Claire. Not available, huh? Okay. Well, let me look at my messages from her, then. What did she say? Oh, she's just telling me to put some rackets in practice for the next race. Wasn't sure if that was her, like an actual request or anything. Maybe I kind of want to go around and get some of these tarot cards. I don't know. I'm holding off on on um, meeting Pan Am until the end of the stream. I think because that's kind of an important thing. Unless viewers here really want to see me go talk to Pan Am, I'm not. I'm in no rush. I have nothing against Pan Am. I'm actually really excited to meet her, but uh, I think I want to just do a few more things in the world first. It's so weird. You can stash stuff on your bikes. The game just does not tell you that. Or it's in your car. But, like, there's no point. Not that there's no point. It just doesn't feel really useful or necessary. Because... You're never that far from, like, a vendor. It's a lot easier just to tough it out until you get on one, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's not as useless as I think it is. Witcher 3, the ability to stash stuff on Roach would have been invaluable, but they never added that. So I guess this is a response to that. I'm not sure. Don't really care about the game. 
Alright, Cruz, we're just gonna go around then. Wasn't sure if there's any other viewers here. My uh, view count thing isn't actually showing up, so right now it doesn't say anybody's watching the stream, so. Don't touch me! Ooh! Three for one! That was pretty good. Uh oh, there's a lot of police around. Oh no. Alright, time to improvise. AKA, drive nowhere. Hey, everybody. Don't attack me! I need some... need some heat hits, bro. But not in combat, I guess. I got a three-star one in level immediately. Oh, and hang on, it's gone. Yay, because they can't get in cars still. Uh-oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Huh. Well, I can't move. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, that looks beautiful right there. Look at that water. Look at that water pouring out of the drain. That looks so pretty. Hang on, I'm gonna... My Charlie just... My, my cat came back from my Charlie. He came back in. Hi, Charlie. I'm gonna close the door now. Charlie. Sit up here, buddy. There you go. Stay right there. Hi, Charlie. Charlie's sitting in his co-pilot seat, which is right next to mine. And he loves that. He loves that he can sit right next to me. This cat is so much like a dog. <laughs> like, he just, uh, you know, he just keeps looking over at me like, Hey, hey, I'm sitting right, right next to you. Yes, you are, Charlie. In fact, let me move even closer. There you go. Now he's like right next to me. What's up, dude? Good cat. Uh, the water isn't moving. Eight years. Yeah, dude. And I haven't died. I'm underwater right now. I'm just still chilling. Well, we have to get out. Alright, this is my first time doing the underwater gameplay, which you can do in this game, I guess. Surface. Am I underwater right now? I have a breath meter. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. I keep bopping up and down. Hang on. God, can I just stay up? I'm holding X to stay at the surface, and I'm just pushing forward on the stick. Alright, that was not good. That was really rough. <laughs> yeah, that was just a texture with, like, effects on it. That was what the water was, basically. Not very flattering. Replacement vehicle? I missed that message. What? How much did it charge? A thousand? Did I see that correctly? Oh, I have 32,000 uh, credits somehow. Oh, there it is. Yeah, at some point it just stopped moving up to me, so... I, uh, that thing sort of lied. At least we got this cool tunnel. service tunnel to drive through here. Alright, that time the drift worked out. Probably because we were only driving away at like a 45 degree angle. We're good. I need a radio station. Hang on. Come on. Bro, I just want the station to play the, every song except this. All the other songs except this one are amazing on the station.
God dang, please. <laughs> I feel like Groundhog Day. Bang bang! Oh god. <laughs> Best song. What's up, guys? That's my car it just spawned in earlier. Was I here earlier? Hang on. I think I was. I was here with Judy. Pretty damn sure, in fact. Maybe I wasn't. This might be a different place. No, because... I'm not sure. I'm not actually too certain. This should tell me for sure. Yeah, no, I wasn't here before. <laughs> we begin now with your latest local news. The 54th anniversary of the AHQ disaster. Hang on, this is. Let me close this. Close. Done. YouTube notifications. Anytime leaves, anyone leaves a comment on Sightor, bro. I I gotta say, Artor, my videos have been doing extremely well in views lately. I'm I'm very grateful. People have lot left some very thoughtful. Well thought out. Well, that kind of is what thoughtful is. Thoughtful, like genuinely intellectual comments, and it is such a far cry from the community I've sort of—I don't want to say left with—but the community I ended up sort of having on Sightor, which I don't know, is not really much of a community. Is more or less just people sort of. Uh, I don't know. It just I, I, all I'm saying is just the the vibe of the community I I've grown on. Um. Oh, this one's hard. I failed. Uh, wasn't paying attention to that. The vibe of the community I've grown in Artor has just been very different from Sightor, and I'm grateful for that. It's it's closer to what I was kind of hoping for. Um, when I all right, uh, went out to make Artor, so. And meanwhile, the comments that people leave on side tour just make me shake my head. Like, I, I just get some of the random, most random, just brain dead comments. No offense to my viewers on side tour, obviously. Just, I stopped putting effort into those videos, and I uh, wasn't, you know. Come out. This just in: creator of our tour thinks his side tour viewers are brain dead. Yep, that's me. I said that. I said they were brain dead. I don't think they're bringing it. I just, uh... Oh, fuck. Am I about to make the same mistake? No, we're good. What do you mean, failed? God. I'm tired of failing, bro. Oh, it actually killed him. Nice. If you want to make a video, I said, why fall for it event Starpunk 2077 so I can get a million hate clicks. Dude, the algorithm will work in your... What? How was I spotted? All right, these guys are about to fucking die. Prepare to die, punk. Cyberpunk. It matters. Wait for it to kick in. Bye bye. The time is kind of shit. But yeah, no, because the algorithm on YouTube is based on engagement, that video will probably end up getting or going around if you uh, make something like that. So the worst part is, is you will likely attract an audience who is willing to, will be willing to agree with you. Like, they'll be like, you know what? You're actually right. Cyberpunk sucks. Like that post-hype audience that is just so immeasurably disappointed. 
They've had time to sort of process the grief of Fallout 4, but not Cyberpunk. And for that reason alone, they will lash out at Cyberpunk. Bye. That was kind of sick. Bounce back. That's what I did when I cut their arm off. <laughs> oh, I thought that was like the inhaler thing, but no, it's the healing thing. Who is Dr. Paradox? I'm pretty sure I've read that one. Is that money on the ground? No, it's just cards. Put the money on the double, put the money on the double. Is that it? Was that all I'm supposed to do is just kill everybody? Really? That's it? Okay. All right. I came, I saw, I conquered. Vidi, 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 Vigo, something like that. Real fruit. It's the shit that keeps kicking. Patience is a virtue, right, lads? You'll have to sit tight for a while longer. Gore said the server room is useful, so that means you'll be guarding it and letting no one in. Nothing more to it. Feeling alone tonight? And kinky? Women? Men? Agender? Or fluid? We've got someone for you. And we're as naughty as we are sexy. Hang on, if you're agender... How do they have someone for you? Doesn't agender mean... No, I'm thinking of asexual. Asexual means you're attracted to yourself. Or rather, you might be attracted to no one. Uh, therefore, it's impossible to like find a person for that. But agender, I forget what that means. I think that just means like you feel genderless. I don't know. Double trouble genitals, animalia, okay, neural libido stimulants, and that's just the start. What are you waiting for? Blah, blah, blah. Sent you another shipment of glitter. Once you get it, ship it among the dealers. Just no fuck around or skimming. We calculate everything and make sure those kids don't get anyone near you. The little shit's starting to get creative. Gotta make a view of comparing Doom Eternal Story to Cloud 2 and say it's a better revenge story and watch the chaos ensue in the comments. Oh my god, man. You know what? Listen, I'm an agent of chaos sometimes in my life. As much as I love Last of Us Part 2... I would love to see you seriously attempt that video cruise, uh, just for the, just just to see what kind of uh, <laughs> argument you could make, and then yeah, like you said, the ensuing comment war, to see people seriously defend. But it'd be a, it'd be a fun social experiment, you know. I think that would be really fun. Frayed recycled jeans that have better armor than any of my other pants. I say that like I have different pants I switch between. No, but now we're wearing the frayed armor pants, which just... Just does not vibe with the current look. Yeah, that's not good. I have nothing else? Dang. I look silly with the pants here. I guess I don't look that silly. It goes better with my helmet, but... Oops, I did not mean to shoot that. I have a wife, please! Nope, you're all dead, sorry. Oh. That's happy, which means I'm happy, which means you get your eddies and everyone's happy. Contract closed. Thanks, V. You're welcome. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. I didn't realize what I just walked into. My bad. Ow. What? I'm stuck. Oh, they might have used uh, a, a, ha a hack on me that locks me in place. Fuck! 
There's nothing I could do there. I went a little too crazy there, huh? <laughs> God dang, that the one net runner there just obliterated me. Okay. Wait. Uh oh. Oh, I finished it, thank God. Okay, let's see. Where, where am walking? I? Also, I know there's a crime over here now, though. Are you ready to die? Bye bye. Stealth. Stealth. Unaware, right? 50% more damage? Supposed to do that, at least. Oh, she's almost dead. Let me uh, wait for some of my ram to come back, and then I can give her the old short circuit. Bye bye. I don't have time for this. Come on. I don't have time for this. Come on. Can I breach him for fun? One C. Did I go into combat right there at the end? I did, magically. Feels good. So, a breach will remove the cooldown. I was wondering when it's useful, and I guess it's useful for removing the cooldown on quick hacks. Which is nice. You're the one that killed me last time, man. Bye bye, no head. We're good. I'm a cyber ninja. D5 Copperhead. Name's V. I kill everybody here. Yeah. Zombie at the bone. Hideto and Akari. You know, or yo, I know who talked. Said you were going in the building. Who? Girl, I might be, I might be dumb, but I ain't that dumb. Eddie's first than Intel. Listen, Gonk, I'm a count to five, and if you don't give me that name, I'ma shove your balls so far up your ass that you choke on them. One, two, three. What is this guy? Kahlo? Is this guy Kahlo Nord from Kotor One? Counting to three. Martin L Lorenz. Chum's name's Martin Lorenz. Techie here. Said no to... S sorry, I can't read. Said to hide. C wasn't so hard, was it? Okay. Some punctuation in my narration there. Probably would have made it more coherent to listen to, but... Kalo Nord, man. Is this... A it might be a hot take, but I'm not a fan of the way that guy dresses. He just does not look like a bounty hunter. Not the traditional Star Wars one, anyway. But I love his whole counting thing. That's great. That... Yeah, you know what? That is a good idea. I mean, I think we've entered a point... Obviously... You know, satire... Like, news sites... Have become so prominent now. You know, it's not... You don't just have The Onion. You have stuff like Hard Drive. Who posts, like, gaming and, like, pop culture satire articles that are just so great and the video essay has become such a easily predictable almost like color by numbers genre on youtube you could very if you know like what to look out for it is not hard probably to make like a sat satire like video essay basically <laughs> that, that actually be pretty cool pretty funny progression shard gain xp for the breach protocol skill tire claws headed for the building get back into your homes lock and barricade the door i'm shutting in the doors so wait do i have that in my cyber duck now or no i didn't mean to do it there just inventory and then cyber deck what did i earn I have no idea. Is this a cyberware thing?
All your headshots are non-lethal. Headshots do not deal do not deal additional damage. Smart weapons primarily target limbs. So what I have equipped currently enhances your vision. Uh, okay. I'm not sure why that's important. Mods. Oh, I've been playing this whole time without a mod. That's kind of funny. These are the same, right? Yeah, I guess they are. Okay. Non-lethal mod, I suppose. Not sure of the value of that, but... Okay. Mods available. Unavailable, unavailable. Unavailable. Arms. Physical damage, thermal damage. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. Go for it, bro. I'll help you with that, too. If you want. Like, I'll I'll help you organize that. That would be funny. Like, I'll, I'll write the scripts for you and shit. Well, I'll at least help you write them. Oh, is this my car now? I think this is my car now, guys. Oh, this is kind of sick. Okay, what's in the old journal here? What's worth doing in the old journal? What's along the way? Because she's kind of far. What can we do along the way that's worth doing? There's my other car. Reported crime. I don't really care about reported crimes too much. Fixer. Side job. Let me see what the side job's all about. There's all these quests all over the map. And it's hard to know which ones are worth doing and which ones are not. Because there's just so many of them. Alright, this car is fast and a little little loosey-goosey on the street. Kind of hard to control the turning a little bit. Oops. I like the colors of it a lot. This is a Christmas car, man. in my way, brother. Holy shit, that thing flew. And it's gone. <laughs> Sorry, man. I forgot. I was driving a tank. That word of a cyber psycho attack all confirmed. How's that Even this is? To Max Tech. Thing is, nobody's gonna show because Militech shut it right down. You ask me, Psycho's gotta be one of theirs. My Eddie's our own Lieutenant Mower. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece. Might actually have to watch video essays, but F it. Not like I got a life. I mean, they all follow like a pretty similar format. They got like these weird, like almost like home video transitions. Where you got like a, like a what is what does it call it? It's like when a, a rollout fade. It's where it's like a, it's like a weird flashing. It's the same sort of effect you get when a film stock rolls out and you get like this burn effect on the screen. They got that. Like they got like this home video field. They got text that pops up on the screen all the time, which I do in my videos as well. That is that is one video essayism that I do. And they always have like chill hop music in the background no don't make them an hour long make them just like 10 minutes they just need to be 10 minutes enough to sort of make like really grand sweeping statements sound extremely convinced about them provide insufficient evidence to prove them and then just let the style carry it <laughs> orders is this clone wars or 66 Target presents symptoms of cyberpsychosis. Resolve a telephone consultation with physician. Negative treatment impossible. Target is located at the attached coordinates and waiting for paramedics to arrive. Surprise attacks possible. Warning. Target is armed with military-grade combat implants. Highest caution advised. Upon neutralization of threat, some reports by encrypted channels. Oh, interesting. Let it go! Oh, you want to fight? Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, 
Oh shit. Stand still, ma'am. Oh, this can't be hell. I'm just wobbling the hell out of her, man. Look at me go. Oh, what are you doing to me? Game fucking steady! Got her, and I'm on fire. We're good. I want them to be convincing enough so dumb people take them seriously. Dude, it's not hard to fool dumb people. Like, <laughs> I think you just gotta, again, you just gotta sound really convinced about what you're saying. And it's, it's less about actually having evidence to offer and more so about um, presenting what the, the quote-unquote evidence you have to prove your point as if it's substantial. I mean, I could just think of one right off the gate, like with Doom versus Last of Us Part 2. Uh, like. See, the biggest problem with Last of Us Part 2, trying to make you take this revenge narrative seriously, is that it's a third person game. And though I was I enjoy this third I though I enjoy third person games, it doesn't have the same sort of immediacy and uh, immersion as a first person experience like Doom Eternal. You know, something like that. <laughs> I'm unpeeling a banana because I saw this banana's been sitting on my desk all day and I've been meaning to eat it. Mmm. It's not hard. You just gotta, like, sound really convinced. <laughs> I mean, past the first point, it's probably more difficult. It's like, man, I gotta think of other stuff to say. But, like, you know... We can we can pull everything out of the ass. Just straight from, straight from our ass. <laughs> A really great channel you can watch... I mean, I don't know if I'd call them a video essay channel necessarily, but they've sort of defined what I think a lot of video game essay channels are like. Um, actually, shit, do I even remember what he's called? Uh, I have to look his channel up. All of his videos have a very distinctive style, and don't get me wrong, I love doing YouTube videos. I don't bash what people, you know try to do on YouTube, but, you know, I can offer criticism where I like, where I like to. It's not Downward Thrust, but it's a channel similar to that. It's like, hang on, I have to switch to the webcam for this point. It's like, um, you know, you know you've seen it. It's, it's these channels that have focus. It's these channels that have like the white background, a character on like the right side of the panel. They have the big letters and the red uh, shit. Actually, that might be the type of thumbnails I usually make. But the point is these are all identical. There's always a white background, there's a character, and then there's like three big blocks of text. Is it UEG? I don't know. I don't it might be. I don't remember the name of the channel, but that was Downward Thrust. He's okay. I He's okay. There was a period on his channel where he wasn't very good. I've, I watched him for a few years, but... And Fallout 2, you're avenging is what? Father figures. No one cares about fathers in 2020. It's all about the Bunnerinos. <laughs> and then what you should do is, like, reference John Wick and be like, Clearly, in 2020, among the sort of uh, white girl Instagram persona, or white girl Instagram, I wear Uggs and love dogs persona, it is far more valuable to lose a pet than it is to lose a father figure. And for that reason alone, it's a more important story to be told in the 21st century than something like The Last of Us Part Two. 
Something like that. <laughs> the song is banger. <laughs> Dude, I'm capable of I'm capable of being a savage if I want to. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, I have to send more information. Oh, I have to send it to Regina. Oops. Regina! Where's she at? Right here. Hmm. But not much. You know how it was Miltech. Get too nosy and they start sending you death threats. Looks like more was chipped with experimental combat implants. Maybe there was some glitch in the code that made her snap. I'll look into it. Thanks again. Money's already on its way. Oh, did I level up? I might have. Don't walk. Don't walk. Sorry, everyone. Got my car in the way. I only got a perk point, but still. Let me, uh, let me level that up to two points. Yeah. Okay. On our way to Pan Am. Let's see what else we have along the way that's worth doing. Seems like we have another wanted quest down here. Let's do it. Oh my god, what is happening? And it's slowly working its way back down. Fuck that. Hi everyone. Jetero Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like-minded scumbags. The Mox finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached. What can I get you? Hi. Can I see him in there? Can I hack him in there? You want to talk, buddy? Don't mind me. <laughs> Hi. I'm saving you. Oh, there's so many places to breach this place with. This is what Cyberpunk's all about. You sneak into like a really just neon upscale club and you just slice people in half with your samurai sword, bro. This is what Cyberpunk can be. Oh shit. If I die, it'll all be for nothing. You wanna fight, brother man? Did you just trip over that guy dude's body? I saw that. I'm in here. Uh-huh. Where are these people at? Are they downstairs? That was the guy. Oh, he's got a nice collar. 
Come over. I have a few bodies to get rid of. In cold storage? Why? Okay, I'll come tomorrow. We'll be creating a few at La Katrina, so I'll toss in yours. Just come and take them. I don't care what the rest understood. For a second, I really thought that was about to be come over. I can't. Uh, and then it's come over, babe. No one's home. I can't. Well, something. I forget how that meme goes. It's classic. Though. I need a row with 55 in it. And now I need both E9 to 1C. Boom! Got all three. That doesn't happen very often. I gotta take his body, huh? Alright, let's get it, take it with us. New releases, brain dance? Yeah, we've re read that second time. Watson whore! Alright, let's get rid of this guy. I know where the stairs are, I know how stairs work. Motherfucker, dude, this guy is sick. Not a nice guy, what's in here? Another way out. Yeah, it looks like it. Damn. Ooh, purple item. Oh yeah, give me that. I'm not sure how to get out of here. I guess trace my footsteps back to the stairs. Yeah, that's the way out. Oopsie. Alright, this guy's gonna want to fight, so let's put the body down. And that guy's probably underneath us. Okay, let's go get the body. Uh, which one is it? Leave the club. Oh, there's his body. I don't think I need it anymore, though. But let me take it, anyway. That's weird that it said take his body, and now it says don't take his body. It just says leave the club. You didn't see nothing, buddy. What can I get you? <laughs> he really did see nothing, huh? Don't worry, NPCs. I'm the future. I want to see kaboom weapons. Anime kaboom boom. I can get those. Why my friend Pedro is a better sci-fi game than cyberpunk. <laughs> now that one actually might not be too hard to argue. You see, my friend Pedro may not be so heavily dipped in the aesthetics of the cyberpunk genre, but it achieves much of its cyberpunk aesthetical nuance in a metaphorical in the metaphorical conventions of, of my friend Pedro's gameplay. You see, the game is very hard. Much like how it probably feels to live in the Cyberpunk future. Unlike Cyberpunk 2077, which has an easy meter. Or an easy mode difficult. Thanks, v. Closing the game. Alright, success. Emphasis on the suck. Okay, now let's uh, open the journal here. Uh... What's along the way? That's interesting. Search and recover? I don't think I've done some of these. Agent Saboteur? Actually, let me see what this is. I've never done anything like that. Let me let me check that out. And then there's also Agent Saboteur. I, I'll do anything interesting. I'll do any gold icons of the map. I, I am willing to skip all the blue ones. V, 
I traced some klept meds. Someone's stashing them uh -oh. in a kabuki apartment. Unfortunately, no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Anyway, you bring them back, some rippers will thank you. Profusely. More deeds in the attachment. Reeves? You hear that howling at night? Like a dying animal. Ah, ah. This, this place is really out of the way. This is a real hole in the wall. The game doesn't necessarily tell you to go here. Wow. I've read that one before. I'm at the point where I basically read every shard. Not every one. There's probably some I have not read, but I've read 90% of them. Very confidently can say that. I think I've read that one. Liberty! Liberty! Find the stolen medicine, huh? Stop! Sure. Sure. And you be careful with that trigger. How did you find me? I'm here by contract. From a fixer. Nothing personal. Hand over the stolen meds, and I'm gone. Stolen? <laughs> the Bale of Baradol doesn't work! So, 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 so who's stealing from who? Who? Ripper docks. They're the real criminals. Bale of Baradol? For cyber psychosis. Uh, I'm not fucking crazy! Easy, easy. Shut up! Go away! If they're no use to you, they don't work. Just hand them over. You're the same as them! Rippers, politicians, the same as that fucking halt! I could think of a few different. Shut up! <laughs> that bastard he stole from, from research! He doesn't care about the sick! Soon, I'll find him. End him. Militech better work. KS-47 with polymer reinforcement. You were a soldier. Militech, 3rd Light Division, 155th Infantry Regiment. Seven years in a fucking jungle. When times were simpler... Before you got sick. You cast me out like a dead battery. That's no reason to become a terrorist. Where'd you serve? Brazil. I remember all of it. Dirt on my face. F fatigues always. Always wet. It's like a brain dance. I, 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 I can't shut off. Memories flood back. Without the adrenaline. Without my brothers. Fuck. So quickly they forgot me. You're angry, and I get it. You feel cheated. Not just me! I know, but if you zero Holt, you'll make it worse for everyone in your condition. They'll hunt you down. Please. Go, please. No, I can't without those meds. Over there. I want to be alone. Well, we talked him down successfully. Nice. I probably can't hack anything here without getting in trouble, huh? Man, this guy's got quite the setup. Man, this poor guy, I feel bad. Well, we got what we needed, poor so let's leave. Son of a bitch. Huh? Oh fuck! Well, there it is. He shot himself. Damn, I feel terrible now. God, I feel awful. Oh, damn, I feel really bad. Oh. I feel bad that I, I went through so much effort to talk him down. And in that moment, he decided he had nothing left to live for. God. 
That was a bit much. Will you talk to Mike or Sarah? Just sit and listen at the very least. Just never forget that PTSD is never something you should be ashamed of. Each of us have been there. We know the hurt. I don't want to pressure you. If this Thursday doesn't work, I understand. But just try and get back to the routine of coming, okay? If you want to just talk to me, uh, talk to me first. You know my number. I'd be happy to meet up and catch up. No, Liam. I've had enough understanding. Enough pats on the back. Enough self-pity. Talking doesn't accomplish anything. Only action does. I hope you're not planning doing something reckless. Where do you live now? I can come by. We can go over what you're feeling. Bill, where are you? Okay, or your head will explode. Hey, Chum, today's your unlucky day. You're probably wondering who I am. I'm a voodoo boy. Probably never heard of us. Remember last time you hit the net? Yeah, me too. I hacked your code processor and installed a little surprise for you. Now you do what I say, or your head goes boom. I think a thousand eddies is fair pay for to keep your head. If you pay, I install my surprise. If not, I blow up your head, but blow up the head of the person you love the most first. And if you tell on CPD, I blow up your head twice. You have two days to pay. And I know you read this because I install spy cam in your optics. We read it together. This is not negotiation, Shum, so do not apply. Just pay and you will live. Dang. He did shoot himself, right? Because there's this gun on the ground. And there's a gun I can do off of him from when he was talking to us. Because I also wonder, maybe there's a detail I missed. Oh, look at that. They even got a picture of him and his, uh, his squad in Brazil. That's a cool little environmental detail. This side of the game is where... Cyberpunk is kind of incredible. Every other area is where it isn't. <laughs> I mean, not maybe every other area, but there's certainly a lot to be desired in the other regards of the game. That's the thing, too. Witcher, all three Witcher games, I think, are have extremely flawed gameplay. But they are carried so heavily by the storytelling. This game, I feel like... It was very important for CDPR to get a lot better with the gameplay. And they couldn't quite meet that demand. Plus glitches. Lots and lots of glitches. Um, so as a result, I don't think the storytelling carries the game nearly as well. It's still fantastic. But it doesn't carry the experience. It's just one part of the experience that's fantastic. Cool, man. Okay, let's take a look at the journal here. Or not the journal, the map. I also want to check out what the Agent Saboteur thing is. And then after... Actually, where's the Pan Am quest at? It's pretty far away, right? There's a lot of stuff along the way in between me and there. Maybe we'll come back to the Agent Saboteur another time. Since there's just so many things along the way. Let me do the next side job over here. Let's just keep going for interesting content, you know? Thanks, V. Couldn't have been easy, but you handled it like a pro. Job done, contract closed. That's how it's always gonna be. That worked that time. Never mind. Wow. Uh, very angelic. Okay, bye car. Hmm. It must 
have been where I hit him. What? What am I looking at right now? What is in my hands? Huh? Who is this? Who? Someone just teleported into my hands? Who the fuck are you? Who is this guy? Hang on. Is this the guy I carried out of the club earlier? Oh, you know what? He blew up. He was in my trunk. Um, so the car blew up, and because of that, he teleported into my hands. Now he's all the way over here. Well, let's make let's make it final. There we go. Now he's definitely dead. Todd Howard made this game. Todd Howard is one of the game directors on Cyberpunk 2077. You heard it here first, folks. I think Claire just texted us about the next race. I'm down. Though I kind of want to get a car of my own to do it. Because there's only four races, it seems like. He did it again. And we just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. Oh, the vending machine wants to he's talk again. He's scared of getting dumped. And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest <laughs> person I know. I'll see you later. Oh man, I feel so bad about this vending machine, man. He's just stuck here. Hey, Brandon. Got any jokes for me today? What do you get when you're fired by a corp? Severed and put in a package! That one was pretty good. That one was pretty good. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Is she friend zoning Gosh. you? <laughs> She's so nice. And pretty. And sensitive. I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a Tiancha? I may have overestimated you. You're nothing but a robot. I'm not even a complex one at that. You don't need to be complex to say something meaningful from time to time. That's yet to be proven. See you, Brendan. Hmm. I may have been a little mean there. This poor robot, bro. Hang on, maybe I should reload that and do the sentient quest option. Or do the sentient option, just see what he says. Auto save, when was that? What time is it? Let me do the undiscovered load. That was right before I talked to the vending machine. Society's divided like never before. Mega Corp elite live in unbelievable luxury, while the poorest are left with next to nothing. The space station's orbiting Earth. Dude, that's just 2020. Did it again. We just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. And so he always does it first. What color are your and eyes, Theo? Are they the blue or are they silver? What are they? Ugh, also, she kind of looks like Emma Stone. Here, Theo. Not you. Am I just seeing that? You have so much love From a certain angle. To give to people like AKA, like, really up close to her face. But at what cost? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Hey, Brent. What do you get? Sever! Yay. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh. God. Why do I get the feeling? Alright, let me try this option instead. 
You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier you thought of a joke. You're sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. <laughs> That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. Okay, so it doesn't actually matter what you say to him. That ends the same way. Was curious. Well, that undiscovered thing is still being tracked, even though it didn't really yield anything. Okay, we're still going here. What else is in the area that's worth doing? Let me see what this is. We call that maneuver scooter to the ankle, everybody. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, bro, I just killed someone. <laughs> oh, God, that was insane. I love that. <laughs> Man, I'm having so much fun just playing the game the way it's not meant to be played. One of my net runners is unresponsive. In spite of clear orders to remain in direct contact with me, something must have happened. He would not dare go against me. Familiarize yourself with the brief and proceed swiftly. I need him. I worked to get jobs and come to the crew. I didn't pick myself. I chose Chang whom Nam years ago and he hasn't let me down once. I don't know what happened to him, but he must get him back. Check the basement in that Chinese place. He keeps his gear there. Sometimes takes a side gear or two. I think he's still alive. If he weren't, he's the type who'd come back as a ghost and apologize, just like in those tales from the old country that make me want to puke. He's sentimental like that. He's pretty old. 65. So I think in this world, you can live to be pretty long uh, if you keep like your, your mods up to date or whatever. I'm a big fan of the green gas here. This is kind of cool looking. Mm hmm. This place is really dark, holy shit. Hey, you alright? Look, V, it's you in the near future. Every net runner ends up the same way. Brain fried by some corpo ice. Looks like he's still breathing. I had to attach him. I've already got someone some, someone on this job, but could use some help. Trying to follow Vortex's footprints on the net. There has to be some trace. Send wherever you find directly to me, W. Can I connect into this? E9557878. Okay. Can I get all these? I think I can. All right, let's try. Oh, maybe I can't. Not in the first road, dang. Uh, E9557878, okay, let's try that. There we go. I feel like I just got really sprung away from the wall doing that. I don't know. It's really dark in here. It's hard to tell where I'm walking. Jai Jing Mian recipe. 
Cool. I'm never going to make that. This looks like there might be some information over here. I see you're trying to get your hands on the KT container. You couldn't fucking wait for me? Man, just done my own thanks. You fucking trying to prove something? How? You fucking... Potato brain? The old guard will never give up. We know how to get things done in my time. What kind of bullshit? Am I close? At least tell me you're using that splinter I sent you. Without, they'll hard boil your brain. No bullshit. Gramps like you has no place jacked around like this solo. No need to panic. I told you. I'll be fine. What? There's some kind of last hurrah? Going out with a bang? Some of the cliche? No what? I don't give a shit anymore. Do whatever the fuck you want with you stubborn old fossil. Nam, you are needed today. See my message? What's going on? Yep. That's what happened to him. He got hard-boiled. Follow the lights? Oh. Is he communicating to us? This is kind of neat. Seconds. Wait, I, I can't. Wake up. Hey, you, wake up. We're about to cross the border to Skyrim. Give me one moment. I don't know how long I'm here, but. As you Americans say, I'm starving. Had a peek at your messages. Looks like this spectral kid was right, huh? Hmm. I get stuck after all. Ugh, when he find out, he'll become completely insufferable. That way you didn't ask him for help? In case of a fragile ego? No. But because I was trapped in the subnet, the lights were as far as I could go. Hmm. Any idea what's in the Corpo code case? You young people ask too many questions. <laughs> See for yourself. Huh. Maybe it's not such a good idea after all. Ah, you're a fast learner. So, you're probably wondering who sent me. Wakako. She always find an excuse to drag me to her place for dinner. You must visit me someday. I'll show you a few net running tricks. Wasn't it me who just saved your ass? We never stop learning hard lessons. But you don't have to do everything alone. Thanks, I'll think about it. Todd Howard, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, that was kind of neat. I like that cool when uh, they build sort of these missions around the game's lore and the fact that you can sort of be stuck in this uh, like brainwave space basically and the only way you can get out is if he's like basically hacking into the house with his brain and uh, showing you the way out with lights I was informed of how you handled yourself good work I expected nothing less from you I am closing the contract. Wait, where is this taking me? Oh, did I go to a different way than I'm supposed to? I might have. Yeah, I went out a different way. Funny. Where's my bike at? 
How far away did I park? Oh, that's right. I parked it all the way down there. Quote unquote park. More like flew it into a bunch of people. What else is along the way? Let me track that. Two cars for sale. Wow, that one's really expensive. Holy shit. Maybe I want to save up for that. Maybe. 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 Maybe not. Who can really say for sure? Alright. Let's zoom on over. After my car gets here. It won't... It won't summon because it's nearby. Dude. I'm trying to get... Trying to get over there. Song. Fuck, bro. That is an actual Akira, dude. I did the Akira bike thing. Look at me go. Oh, what the hell? Oh, the frame rate is kind of kind of not pretty for here either. Hey, V, what's up? I want to thank you again, you know, for helping with clouds. Don't thank you. I want to thank about what could have happened if you hadn't been there. Anyway, I think I got something that might help us. Can't go into detail, but I'll hire in a couple of days. I want to have a fabulous day. She sent me a winky face. Thank you. When a girl sends me a weekly face, bro, it's different. It's different. Wait for Judy's call. Okay, that's fine. I can wait for that. We have other things to do. We have bigger fish to fry. Where am I now? Where's V at? Right here. Oh, I'm actually close to multiple things. Let me look what's over here. Head on out. All right, Cruz. Thanks for the fun times, brother. You have a good night. True love comes to die in Night City. Husbands cheat on wives. Wives cheat on husbands. Then they divorce. Look at this area. Look at all the trees here. This is really pretty. Can you believe that? Truly, I am shocked. But do not despair. Today, I give you the chance to help one such divorcee. His name is Mr. Gutierrez, and he is counting on us, V. Of course, his marriage is beyond saving. But perhaps we can retrieve the checks his wife took from him. I am attaching more details. It's just a transcript of what she just told us, okay. Can't be diet and exercise. What's your morning grind? Nano cleansing cryomass. You guys just have money sitting on the table? Bees are extinct. Feel sad, man. Save the bees. You hear that, Charlie? You want to save the bees, buddy? Charlie's a ball right now, guys. He's just a ball. Like, he's a ball. Like, he's curled up. And then he's got his paw covering his face. Like, this dude is just... Completely... A ball. Alright, let's be, uh, let's be optional. Let's do the optional objective. Add a camera. Let me get a better position. And uh, do camera control. Mr. White here. Drop that little toast tibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. 
Because life is too short to be slow. What's that? Oh, cool. I destroyed it. Sweet. Ooh, another one. Let's blow that one up, too. That'll be fun. Yeah, I have the 100% unaware damage perk, so it's kind of like an instant destroy, really. Back down here. Uh oh. Did someone see me? That one does. Nice. Still undetected. Feels good. This should kill it. There we go. Nice. Undetected damage, kind of sick. Okay. Nina, give me back my shards. My property, you know it. I don't want to make a big deal out of it or anything, but I need them back. Can we do this like adults, please? How did we grow so far apart? You're still asking? After what you did? Fuck off, you self-centered prick. Surprise, the bills in my kitchen are broken. Again. The blinds in my kitchen are broken. Again. How hard is it to find a comp competent handyman in this town to fix them properly? I want a refund for the previous repair, and then I want you to send a professional who won't be overwhelmed by this apparently Sisyphean task, this time free of charge. Of course, Miss Gutierrez. Working on it, deeply apologize for the inconvenience. We've already repossessed Mr. Emilio Gutierrez's apartments and vehicle. The next step is to establish regular alimony payments. As your lawyer, I should warn you that our chances of winning that are unfortunately quite low. You don't have children, and you also have a well-paying job. Maybe you have a chronic illness? We could maybe try to sell your husband with medical costs. Sincerely, Brand Duke. No, sorry. God, I, I just insert words that just straight up aren't on the screen. Brand Drake... Attorney at law, Asukaga, As Asukaga, and Finch. I can temporarily quit my job. I'll ask my Rupert Doc for a professional opinion that should play well in court. There are plenty of diseases out there. I'll think of something. And just remember, I'm paying you to destroy this son of a bitch's life. I wasted 50 years of my life for this his pathetic ass. Okay, I read that. The local network. That's what I wanted, the shard. Can I hack into the shard? Sometimes you can do that. This one has nothing above it. Maybe it's not something you can actually read or even hack. Because if it were, it would have new next to it. I don't see that next to anything that I looted. So, okay, let's get out of here. Apartments, street.
I was never, I wasn't going to run out with that. Okay, to the drop point. Oh, would you look at this? We got a problem. We got a problem. I'm not the problem, though. I assure you that. I promise I'm not the problem. Hank, Hank. Oh no, I ran over Alana Pierce. That does look like Alana Pierce's hair. I know, I, I watched her videos. I know she made a video that uh, they actually used her hair model for the game. And you can use it in the character creator, so that was likely her hair that they scanned. Let's go. Oh no, they can't walk because my bike's in the way. Alright, don't worry. You'll all be able to walk in one second. Everyone walk now. Look at them go. They couldn't walk because my bike was in the way. That is cool that they will wait to cross the street. I like that a lot. Boing, boing. Level 20. Put the money on the double. Put the money on the double. Put the money on the double. Well, let me level up that technical ability. That's that remains to be a very uh, necessary skill to have. Put the money on the double. Put the money on the double. Put the money on the double. Hmm. Can I get anything with Tech Nine? Blade Runner. What about a uh, melee? Max stamina upgrade would be useful. Uh huh. More damage to torsos might be useful. Stamina cost of blade attacks. Why not? I feel like, I don't know, it may be the difficulty I'm playing on, but I feel like the skills are not super useful now. You can play the game with one certain approach. There, or rather, there's one approach that works best for most of the game, I think. Aw, uh, dude, this area is so cool. Did I just drive? I probably just drove back by a bunch of side stuff. Not yet. Okay, we're gonna do a turn around here. Check out this question mark back here. But man, I'm, I'm ready to get out of the city. The palm trees look so cool, dude. I hate this song. It plays so often. I hate this weep song, bro. Not a fan. Oops. Right, I just got to keep driving then. We're good. I've been to this part of the town before. Alright, well, I'm in the area. Might as well.
Gotcha, buddy. That's good. Still in combat with someone. John Quaid and Aiden Rackins. We got the dealer, one who's falling on selling on our turf. Zero him, but make sure everyone can see it. Hear it when our employee's buying from us. And another thing. Chum told us where his stash was. Cords are here. And the codes, don't send me that shit. Just haul your ass and grab everything. And we'll sell our, them ourselves our prices. Okay, we resolved this whole situation then, I think. All right, uh, quick, quick intervention. I'm um, or intermission. I'm gonna. Is the is my webcam running at a faster frame rate, or is mine just eyes taken aback by staring at the screen? I don't know. It seems like the lighting on my webcam is. A bit of frame rate usually seems really starry. It doesn't seem starry right now. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Um, I will be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom, and then I think I'm also gonna throw on a sweatshirt, and maybe get water. So I'll be back in a second. I can't seem to find my sweatshirt. It's kind of a problem, Charlie, don't you think? Where is it? Um. Huh. That was important. I kind of wish I had it nearby. I mean, I guess I could wear a different sweatshirt.
Hey, Charlie. All right, it took me forever to find a sweatshirt, but I have one now. Go Bobcats. <laughs> okay, headset on. Make sure we're all good. Yeah. Cool. Mmm. Uh. I got the Snickers as well. Okay. Let us resume. You got nowhere to run. Surrender. Now. Let's see if they attack us. You'll be my vulture, V. I heard a Tiger Claw's casino has been robbed by one of their own, a dealer. The girl had an alias, Vortex, and she managed the casino's machines. She programmed them to skim a small percentage so a drop from each win landed in her bucket. It took years for the Tigers to realize how they were being cheated. You can imagine they were not pleased. But the frost had extended too far. Vortex died during the interrogation before revealing where she stored the stolen money. A vulture is wiser than a Tiger, V. You will find it. I'll send you Vortex's last known location. Don't let me down. I don't want to open my stash. I just want to get on my bike. Casino below us? Watch it! Alright, I can do that. Probably not on my bike, though, unless I want to die. Am I even... Hang on. Am I even tabbed into the game right now? I am. Okay, I was concerned for a second. Because I saw my mouse on the screen, and I was like, uh oh. Hold up. What the hell? Sorry, hang on. What do you need? Let's redo that, sir. Let's redo that whole entire exchange. You even gotta pad me down? Pad me down, brother. Okay, fine. Let's redo that. When was that? Okay, that was two minutes ago. Okay. Probably just Wakako gonna call me and then. Tell me what's good. We, my dear, I need you to pay a visit to a tiger claw den and retrieve something for me. Ow. I know you are up to the task. I am attaching more information. Read it carefully. I've read it already. I'm brilliant. Believe me. I have years of experience in bullshitting. Hold up. It's paid to get inside. You got all wrong, big guy. You see, a friend of mine's fixing to bring in some easy corpo prey hot with loose wallets. Go and ask your boss how much we can get per head fleeced. Okay. Go on in. 
But I don't want to see any funny bits, all right? Thanks, King. What the hell? I'm gonna assume that's a glitch, and him saying what the hell is just him following basic programming. Immersion broken. Hey, everybody. How's your day going? Win anything? Yeah, a few eddies here and there. Hey, how's the cash flow? This place is kind of sick. Mask. It's Ennis. It's pathetic. Say what you will about Vortex. She could work with shoes. Not my own. Yeah, this is not the type of place I wanted to get in going through combat. Already closed, sweet. Now I connect. Uh E9 five five uh seven A E9. Okay, E9 uh, E9 uh one C to five five. Scooch in. Let me just scooch on in here. Hmm. Okay, we're in the second floor. Let's get the guys a piece of quiet, will you? Buy two tickets, get the third for free. Thousands of prizes are still available. Drugs, blah, 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 blah. blah. something in here I don't know I might have I was on here I don't think I was on here though couldn't be anything different on here though right might be easier to hack this way too Ah, there's the office. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get upstairs. Say what you will about Vortex. She could work the machines. Not like our new cock. That's how I got in. Alright, can't get in there, unfortunately. Hopefully this doesn't initiate combat. Okay, hostile area. Cannot be seen up here. Anyone looking this way? I might have to disable their optics. Uh. 
Oh shit. That was not a good look. Fuck, we're very close to fucking this up. <laughs> I can't see them through the wall, can I? Well, definitely not with the noise I'm making right now. That was extremely close. I will end you. Can I put him in here? Take down on high body. There we go. Also hide their body. Container full. Damn. Any other things I can put this in? Guess I'll just drop it for now. Hmm. She's got the cool double pistol thing going on. Vortex's cred chip. Got it. Oh, that's a good smart pistol. And a worthy improvement over my current smart pistol, I think. Yes, sir. What about the shotgun? The shotgun have any improvements yet? Yeah, aside from some assault rifles. The Ajax. Let's roll with that for a little bit. What about the katana? Probably not. Nah. That katana was really good. Just a really good find. I haven't checked my clothing inventory in a while. The bandana's pretty nice. That's probably the best thing we have. Ooh, that's good. Man, it's a shame you can't, like, customize the appearance of your gear, bro. I look, I look like a clown right now. Just gotta embrace it, I guess. That's pretty sick. I do like that a lot. I just wish it worked better with kind of everything else we were wearing, but it's okay. I'll settle for it. Nah. Nope. Okay, this is what we look like right now. A little, little bit, little dorky, but it's cool. The pants, the pants, the shoes, the shirt, and the uh, the shoulder thing go together. The hat and the mask, I do not like. Not a fan of that. Our best look was the samurai look. But we don't really have that anymore. Hmm. So they're missing money. Time to pack up. They're not they're not catching on. Or they're catching on. Hope to shave off a little more, but the take's not half bad. Not worth the risk. Do what you gotta do, I'll get the car checked and buy a pass. Be ready to hand out Saturday by down. I love you, Vortex. Yep, my name is Lavisa. Yep. Uh, it's too late. Your neural process has been infected, so this bitch with three other people immediately, or in seven days, they'll go cyber psycho. Did someone see me? Did someone see a body I put down? I see, they're over there. Well, let's work our way out of here then. Amazing. I think we're good. Just gonna have to reboot this dude's optics and we should be in the clear. Oh, 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 you on the double. Huh? Oh, my money on the top. Don't want to go in there. Just like that, we are out of here. I, dude, I convinced you to get in already. God, 
Wish this game would work. <laughs> it's annoying. Ow! Dude, I'm stuck. I know, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Isn't it great? Dude, I look like such a hobo. I'm ready to steal Pan Am's heart, man. Look at me. It's gonna be great. Sick, okay. Man, I need to shave. I have received information that Vortex's shard is on its way. You did not disappoint me. That deserves compensation. I am closing the contract and transferring your fee. Hey man, you got some nice legs. Wait, those aren't yours? Oh, sorry ma'am. You, you, uh, hey! you got some nice pants. Oh, I'm sorry, those aren't yours either? I won't buy anything from you. Uh, which, which one of you said that? Are you both the same person? Pretty amazing what's going on Why right now. Why is everyone got it out for me? Don't you mean we, us? I won't buy anything from you. Okay. Thanks for the conversation. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good riddance. Good riddance. Disassemble that. Bye bye. Disassemble the rest of these blue items. Man, I have so many of those. What are these? Slow motor. Huh. Sell junk. Yep. And then guns. Guns, guns, guns. Okay, let me just assemble the rest. Whatever it is we don't need. Okay, now save those. Disassemble. Keep the shotgun. Get rid of the SMGs. Disassemble the precision rifle. It was fun while we had it. Can't believe I didn't see that before. Well, we're gonna. Sell that, keep that. Sell the revolver, or just sell the revolver, rather, yep. Okay, uh, and everything else is all right. I got a beep from Kim. She can fuck all night. Put my body on the double. <laughs> yeah, I can surely burn through some of these. Sure, why not? Let's go to holographic site. Nothing, no muscle to give it. What's that? Mods? Crit chance by 2%? Huh. Didn't realize that was the thing. No oh, clothing mods, interesting. Okay. Cool, you can tap it. I just realized you can tap it and it'll honk it for you. I just now realized that. That's cool. Alright. Uh, folks, I think it's finally time we go talk. 
to pan um unless these are yeah these are just cars i can buy yeah let's go talk to her i think there's a tarot card right before her which is fine we'll get the tarot card and then we'll go talk to her i'm excited man everyone's been hyping up this character and i'm, I'm excited to talk to her she seems really cool and hot and i like both of those things as a as a man But also, I want to appreciate this area a little bit. It looks pretty cool. Why are you scanning me, man? That looks like Pacifica over there. Not mean to do that. Fuck. Yep. Let me get that tarot card. There we go. Strength. The card of resilience that is associated with determination, bravery, and internal struggle. One must have dedication in order to overcome obstacles and reach one's goal. Strength is above physical prowess and spiritual fortitude, the power that must be unleashed to achieve the impossible. Wow. Very inspiring portrayal of strength. Is this Pan Am here? Hi, Pan Am. Hey. Pan Am? So you're a V. Where's my car? Hi, Pan Am. You seem pretty. Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, oh. come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! <laughs> All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Hi, Pan Am. You have pretty eyes. Thought this is mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, the only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know. Yeah, that's what that not far from my house. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. He's a chum. Partner. Former. If ever. The ship tricked me. Straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Yeah, cause we're coming for him and shit. Oops. Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? 
Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boss, hey. Now she's gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boss, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Yikes. Okay. Streams a little stuttery no, looking at Pan Am and Keen Reeves in the same. I'll take care of everything. Oh, he disappears. They're all good, Do huh? Do you even have to ask? Of nope, never mind. Will. Thanks, boss. You Pan Am is this. stuttering my stream out, bro. Okay. Holy shit. I have bought us some time. Hang on. I don't know if this does anything. I'm just trying to see if switching between these different settings over here on OBS if that does anything or not. Probably not. It didn't work last time. No, it doesn't do shit. Fuck. Okay, let's get to this conversation and then I think I'm going to restart the game. Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for gangoons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So... Where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It is. <laughs> I keep saying you that, huh? Irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Good, let's roll. Get in. I'll get in gladly in one second. I'm going to wait for her to get in. And then I'm actually going to save if I can. Yep. Quick game. We're going to restart the game here, everyone. God, Galaxy wants an update. My ass wants an update. Uh, shit. I'm a little worried that when they updated... The game's had a couple of updates, and I thought I fixed this issue, but it was before they updated the game. I'm just wondering if something they did to the game is causing this issue. I don't know. Usually when I get stuttering like this, it's a DRM issue, but GOG is naturally a DRM-free platform, so... I'm a little sus. The red engine. We are all tombs, one way or another. All right, hopefully it's better now. If not, I don't know what to do. Maybe restart the stream. It's already really late though. Please work. All right, here we go, getting passenger seat. Oh no, I'm getting stuttering already. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me? No, not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the 9 and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? 
I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Man, I'm just getting the worst stuttering on screen right now. Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? Is it any different than mouse? Yeah, it's even worse she than mouse. She rose at the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? It's a skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that rabbit. Did you know that? Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm hmm. Nomad starts out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams, sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. Hmm. Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. I already asked that. Why is it? You know about it wasn't grayed right? out. Mm -hmm. Nomads I can't skip clans. it. Fuck. Yes, Come on. Mostly. Damn it. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams. Sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Oh, sick. We're not in Night City anymore. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't hmm. leave camp. No chance, but... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. 
Well, at least they're friendly. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. The matter is simple. So there's probably going to be a lot of shards out here that I have not read. Whatever you read or hear about the nomads in the city media doesn't hold an ounce of water. The biggest lie bandied around them is that being a nomad is a job. It's not. Nomadism is a lifestyle. See, if you want to know something about nomads, all you have to do is ask one yourself. I already know the questions because I've been asked them a thousand times. So let's get started, shall we? Why do they organize? Why do the nomads organize themselves? Well, why not unite millions of people roaming around the country besides... If know what you're looking for, they, th th another typo. Man, there's so many typos in all these shards. You'll instantly know which clan the nomad belongs to, which brings us to our next points. Nomads are divided into nations. Nations are divided into clans. Clans are broken down into families. You'll recognize them from their colors, their jackets, and the decals on their cars and bikes. By the way, nomads take their affiliation seriously. So unless you want a broken jaw, I advise you to do the same. Um... You'll be eating dirt, or worse, if you get nomads and raftins mixed up. Remember, raft and shiv are not nomads. They're pariahs, outcasts, criminals, who are either exiled from their clan for doing something truly effed up, or just ordinary city criminals on the run. Raftins form packs, not because it's convenient, but because they don't have a choice. Nobody in their right mind would work with them, unless they somehow fit in your plans. Mostly, they rob and pillage. Don't ask where the name raft and shiv comes from. All I know is that apparently it means something really dirty. Nomads take on all kinds of jobs. Everybody has to eat, right? What kinds of jobs they take depends on the clan or family's particular strategy. Some pick crops in agri-corp fields. Others deal with corp shipments to protect their own convoys. If you want to smuggle something across the border, you go to the nomads. If you need to vanish off your pissed-off creditors or shareholders' radar, the nomads will take you so far into the boonies you'll be shitting next to scorpions. You pay, they do the job, you shake hands, and everyone goes their separate ways. Get it now? If you want more specifics, just grow a pair and talk to a real nomad. Maybe Good luck. Yes. Huh. Good to learn more. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again. I like her hair. We'll talk next time. She's got nice hair. Hey, Pan Am. Everyone here is super friendly. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Dang. Hmm. That's quite the gun you got there. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Hang on, what about the reading? I guess I can come back here later. Will you come back? Well, we got into Pan Am's room a lot quicker than we got into Judy's. So. Though, I think Judy's into girls. So, uh. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. off limits for us. We'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. You got it. And the big old gun as well. We can go. Hop in. Stutter, 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 stutter. Stutter, 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 stutter. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. Best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Hmm. Haven't been so lucky. I see. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. 
What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised to change for the Aldecaldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Were those two in the army? Scorpion Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They're on contract during the last war. Panzer boys. Flew those huge transporters. Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Mm. Countrywide? Thousands. Wow. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. Then you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. I'm not gonna skip the ride. It's nice seeing this part of the, the world have not really been to it at all, so. And it seems pretty huge. It's easy to underestimate okay. the size of this game. We have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Before I do that, or rather, Instead of doing that, um, I think I'm going to stop streaming because I can barely keep my eyes open all of a sudden. I don't know what it is now that I'm like warm or whatever, but uh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't keep my eyes open. Four and a half hours is not a bad stream. I was aiming for like, you know, something crazy like six uh, <laughs> at 2 a.m. Oh, but... My eyes are tired, and I think I'm in the mood to watch something, so I think I'll find something I can watch and fall asleep doing, but, um, let me hit save game here, yeah. That's it for everyone uh, watching. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, please follow. If you are following, consider donating or subscribing. All the money is very much appreciated. Um, I will be live again tomorrow, I think. I'm going to try and stream even more of this game, and I think I'll do it earlier in the day. Um, just because that probably will give me some good time to play it where I'm not like super duper tired. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, one last time and I'll be seeing you all later. Have a great night everybody.